Now, this man is seven weeks post left knee replacement. Now, he's got a really bad arthritic right hip, and uh, that's why he's got that kind of wobble gait, but he doesn't want you to rehabilitate his right hip. He just wants you to focus on his knee. You've had patients like that. So look at his stride length here. He's got a little bit of reek of artem. Look at how his foot really doesn't clear that right side, and he's got a little bit of a snap back, doesn't he? Now he's doing the exercise that I studied. And this is, and I'll go over this in detail in the lab and talk about how you implement this. But for now, just kind of, just let it soak in a little bit. This is called the church pew. I came up with this because, as you know, in church, sometimes you start swaying back and forth, right? Back and forth. And when you sway backwards to the point that you don't allow your toes to come up, your quadriceps fire involuntarily or you're going to fall over. And then you sway forward as far as you can go without your heels coming up. And that actually activates your soleus muscle. And your soleus is the muscle that controls your forward trunk lean. And one of the problems, and I'll demonstrate this in the lab component, one of the problems with the elderly especially is that they never activate their soleus when they're walking. And I'll explain this and show this, and you'll be able to see. If you're, if you're working with somebody, this is just not for joint replacement, but if you're working with somebody who is a fall risk, I'll explain how that exercise can help. Look at the speed of his gait following two minutes of that particular weight shifting activity. And what he's doing here is one of the um, dependent variables in the study was a 10 meter walk test. So I had him walk the 10 meters. Now watch the stride length difference here. You can see following that intervention, look at the speed of gait and look at his stride length just from that. So the initial investigation of this exercise that I did in 2010 showed that the quadriceps and the hamstrings were working together. It's a beautiful thing to have, co-contractions. We said this in the current concepts. You get co-contractions, guess what? You get stability. You get knee stability, you get neurogenic. You get stabilized the knee, you're gonna be able to facilitate the quad, you're gonna normalize the gait. 